Welcome to the Alive Lauren podcast and the place of celebrating juicy, soulful whole, living, adventuring on this journey of a lifetime, embracing, finding the capacity, the willingness to embrace all, all of life's adventures from a place of, wow, embracing of mystery and a sense of like fascinated awe and curiosity and wonderment at the opportunity of all of it. Whatever its shapes, flavors, colors, textures. So there was this clip. I, I thought I'd saved it, but I hadn't. Um, it was on Instagram and a therapist who's also a mom. And she shared about her daughter's sort of like outburst with going, the fridge was like full of stuff and like slamming the fridge door shut and shouting, there's never anything to eat in this house. And um, yeah, so she was sharing that any sort of behavior, any sort of words, any expression, especially when it gets uncomfortable, um, often if, we, if you're curious and you can be, look with a curious lens, like not take it personally and not be reactive, but look for the, what's behind it, what fear, need, want or hurt. And to take a guess, even if you get it wrong, the person will correct you. So, you know, she in that moment then said to her daughter, so it seems it seems you're hungry and you can't quite figure out what to make yourself to eat. Something like that. And it just kind of struck me, what if we could bring more of an element of like a gamification to life? You know, like I remember some of the digital games as a kid and then especially I mean we've got very more advanced nowadays with my kids but when there's challenge it's like you play these games because you want to figure it out you want to get to the next level and you want to understand and you're curious and you're trying to solve these puzzles and what if in our interactions with people when something gets uncomfortable instead of it <laughs> being taken personally what if we could see it like what if it was a game and just like the games have certain level ups or certain hidden places with their treasures and what if we could see that feel that when we feel that uncomfortableness it's actually just a signal to like here's a place for a prize here's a here's a like a the game the task right here right now or to win because energetically when you shift things and someone feels heard and understood Gosh, it shifts everything and improves the quality of the dynamic and improves the relationship. That's the hugest win. Those are your bonus points, your your like life points, your and what if we could see them get excited and see them as signs of oh, oh, here's like bonus points, bonus points. Let's just um gotta figure this out. Like what could it be? What is the fear, the need? And to do it with curiosity and non judgment. Hmm. It feels like changes everything to kind of like rewire our brains <laughs> in terms of seeing life as, as a gamification, like a gamification aspect to life and engage with it from that point of view. Mm. And also to see, wow, how much of our personal, like taking things personally or the personal image that we see something through impacts wow and then we're of little value little value to a situation i know this may seem like a little bit on a, on a different note but it was also just something that for me was like so profound but it's like so simple so mickey often talks about just the importance of getting rid of your personal reaction to things because that personal reaction can make you useless in a situation so you're saying like, say for example, someone cannot stand the sight of blood. That's their personal reaction. They faint, they just can't. So not as in a judgment, I'm just saying like, well, if someone just feels like they get nauseous or they can't take the sight of blood. Now if there's an accident, car accident, some sort of accident, there's like a lot of hurt people and there's blood everywhere. To actually be of any value or assistance in those moments, someone who personally is triggered 
by the sight of blood is not of any value in that situation. Like they can't help. They can't help or serve the situation until they let go of their personal reaction to it. Yo. And I just had such a direct, tangible experience of this the other day where, God, for the longest time, earthworms just have given me like the heebie-jeebies. And I just find them weird and like they're so soft and squiggly and they squirm and squiggle like a little mini snake. And oof. But when it rains a lot, often some of them get like flushed out of the soil and then they can be very vulnerable and you can be walking on the pavement and just, you know, spot one there in all its little sensitive glory so easily, you know, can be oh, <laughs> taken up by a bird, dehydrated by the sun, squished by someone. And sometimes when I've really tried to find it within myself to help them, it's so like weird and you to me <laughs> that I would like get a leaf and get a stick and try to get this thing on and then sometimes the way it moved it would like freak me out so much I'd like drop the stick and drop the leaf and I just had this like moment and it just was just like such an integration of this principle that as long as I'm so squeamish I can't be of any value and assistance to the earthworm if my personal reaction is like I can't look at you I can't see you I can't touch you you freak me out and I just breathed and relaxed into it. And I was like, I just got to just let go. Just let go of your preconceived ideas around this. And just help this thing. It's okay. It's just a little thing. It happens to be that shape. It happens to move that way. Just gently breathe. Just be present. Just be here right now. Breathe. Relax. Just help it. Just pick it up. Just curious. Just be curious about it. Be curious. Breathe. Relax. Not going to do anything to you. Just pick it up gently. Let's move it along. And it shifted everything that when I could actually let go of my personal reaction and wiring, which is connected to so many other things from like, God, when I was a kid, I couldn't even look at a picture of a snake. And I had to like work through looking at a picture, touching a picture, watching like nature videos, going to the zoo and going to look at them, you know, to the point that later, like with my kids being at events when they did have snakes and stuff and going up and touching them and holding little corn snakes and having like big anaconas placed around my neck and you know, just kind of working through it. But there was some remnant of it that still I found like earthworms. Yeah. And this was so transformational because I did. I just I, I helped this little dude and it shifted everything and I don't have any issue now going forward. Um yeah, so massive, massive, massive the shift from personal to being curious and non-judgmental and I mean here was its need it just needed to be placed back somewhere safe and sound so precious heart here is to looking at where we can gamify life and bring in excitement and thrill and like want in uncomfortable situations because to reframe it completely as to for example when we do sense or feel an uncomfortable energy within ourselves or others be curious and get excited of oh there are bonus points here there's something here there's something amazing here what is it let me hazard a guess the fear the need the want the hurt and you just have a totally different experience mm. happy adventure and precious heart mm.